Hey guys, Video James, and we're back with reading your comments. I kind of wanted to do better than the last time, so hopefully I can manage to do that. But I haven't done one of these since I don't know how long. Oh, something's in my eye. But I haven't done one of these since I don't know how long. I don't remember when the last video is. But I went through and I looked at some of the comments because I actually got more comments that weren't kind of all similar and weren't all the same. So I got a whole bunch of comments. And I kind of went back into the old comments and the new comments, so this is kind of branching from all over the comment section. And I don't know if it'll be any better than the last one. I don't know if I'll be able to actually do any better. But hopefully I can actually expand more upon what I say and make it more entertaining. Because the last video I watched, when I went back and watched my old video on this to try and see what I needed to do better, I actually cringed, literally. I could not take it. Alright, but anyway... The first comment is from Shad Zero W Fly Zero N, which I'm guessing just is Shadow Flygon with zeros instead of O's. And his comment says, "Do Pokemon Go?" Okay. One thing there. Slow down, buddy boy. No need to be getting all excited. Um, I'm probably not gonna be doing Pokemon Go just because I don't really have a device that can support it, and I don't really feel that Pokemon Go would be worth the time because Pokemon Go always just crashes, always breaks down, the servers are completely unreliable, the people that run the servers are unreliable. We just saw that from Pokemon Go Fest and how it all went crashing down and how the guy literally got booed off stage. Like, I was actually surprised that someone who was running an official, like, Pokemon-based thing got booed off stage. I don't think there's ever been that bad of a reaction in Pokemon ever, except to the English dub of Sun and Moon, apparently. Yeah, Sun and Moon English dub, by the way, if you haven't seen it, it's literal cancer. It is. It's literal cancer. Alright. Next comment is from Video Bame saying, You ate the best Pokemon Master. You must have all the badges and the Poke Girls. God bless you. Well, dude, don't you know? I got like a jacket where all my badges are shoved on back. Like I got them all sewn into the back of my jacket. And yes, I do have all the Pokemon Girls. I have all of the Lopinis, all of the Gardevoirs, all of the Umbreons that are female. I have all the Poke Girls. But I know what you meant. And I did actually eat the best Pokemon trainer. I can't say who it was because then that would trigger some people. <coughs> Red. <laughs> but I did actually eat the best Pokemon trainer and steal his energy. So, uh, yeah. Confirm cannibal. No. But, I mean, thanks, guy. I mean, I know I'm far from being the best Pokemon player. I know that I never will even reach, like, the top, um, I want to say 500s of Pokemon. But I don't know if that's... Well, I guess it is, because Showdown has rankings in the 1000s, so... But anyway, I know I'm far from being the best Pokemon Master, but it make, it's comments like this that make me feel like I'm actually helping people in specific communities. That whenever you're in part of a community, like if you're in, like, Pokemon, or and you're in another sort of gaming community, that when you get comments like this, it makes you kind of feel like you know what you're talking about, and that you're able to actually help people who are interested in the same topic, that you're actually giving them more insight into how things work, and you're actually giving yourself more insight into what you actually are as a person in this community. Alright, moving on to the next comment, we got Couch Potato 1234 Oh, this is an announcer video. I'm gonna have to make my announcer video for this. Excuse me. <clears throat> Breaking news! Just moments earlier today, a man was spotted running down the highway while being followed by four chickens, eight goats, two cows, and a goose while changing the weather just to anger our very own newscaster, James the Weatherman. Back to you, James. I remember where that comment was from. That was from my Weather Sucks video. I I remember that, and I remember laughing for like 15 seconds when I read that, because that was comedy gold. Um, but yeah, if you, any of you don't remember my Weather Sucks video, I'll leave a link down to that in the comments below, but I basically just raged about weather. And then I saw this in the comments later that night, and it was like someone just completely coming at me with sarcasm, and I was like, okay, buddy, okay, I see where you're going with this, very well played, but yeah, it's comments like those that just make it all the more fun to do YouTube, that these kind of comments are just fun to read, they're fun to react to, and they're just absolute fun, they're funny, and they're fun to answer, and we've got another comment right away, I forgot what ones are written down already, next comment is from Lehman Jones, it says, this doesn't answer my question, I can't give an answer then! Because I don't know your question! Because you just said you don't have an answer! Uh, next comment is from Jimmy's Kitten Shack. That's cool, I gave you a like. You've got some nice vids, been watching a bit. How long you been doing the YouTube thing? 
I do vlogs myself. I've been doing some new stuff. I had to move my channel. If you want, you can check it out here. And then there was a link, but I didn't write that down because I'm not writing down links. Subscribe if you like me. I actually did check out his channel. It is actually really cool. Um, I've been doing YouTube for about over a year, I would say. I think I started back in April. April 22nd, I think, was the actual first day of the channel. Which reminds me, I did want to do a birthday thing for the channel, but I absolutely forgot. I forgot when I started the channel. I thought that I'd started in May, and I didn't realize I started in April 22nd. Dear God, I shape. But I didn't realize I hadn't started in April 22nd, and I thought I started, like, May 15th. So I was like, oh. Um. I missed a lot of days. Alright. And then our last comment here is from Bumblebot101, and this was on my, um... My uh, Beedro mystery gift thing. I actually do remember what video this comment was on because I actually had it written down. Uh, it says, "Thanks for the code. It's been gone for Sumo for too long, but glad to say I'm back." Yeah, see, this relates back to what I was saying in the um, one video from Video Games. That it actually is nice to know that you're helping people out in the community. That you're actually doing really. You're helping out people in your community who aren't really able to get around as much as you are or kind of miss out on some news or information. And it feel, it makes you feel more appreciated in a way. That you feel like you're actually doing yourself and the community a service. Well, not yourself, really. That you're doing the community a service and therefore making yourself feel good because you did something for someone else. But anyway, that's going to be it for this reading and comments video. Again, not many comments. A lot of them were the same and a few of them kind of just reiterated what other comments said, so I didn't really want to, um, I didn't really want to put them in the same video just because they were kind of all the same, and they were kind of all really similar to the point where it would just be, like, repeating the same comment, and I'm not trying to discourage anyone from commenting. Please, comment as much as you want. Comment, like, do whatever you want to do. But when I do these videos, I don't want to repeat stuff. I don't want to be the guy who just sits there and reads the same kind of comments and drags on for minutes at a time talking about the same thing. Although, there are going to be times when I drag on about stuff for a long while, like when I get stuff like I did with Video Bames and Jimmy's Kitten Shack. Like, when I get those comments, I'm going to end up dragging on because I end up talking about stuff like that for a long time, like I did back in my first reading comments, if any of you remember that. I'll leave a link to that down in the description too, by the way just so you guys can go and see the difference and see how I change things up. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope I got a lot of your questions answered in these comments. Well, I didn't really answer many questions, but these are fun to do. I like them. I like doing these little comments and reading the little fun ones. Um, I kind of wish I had hate comments so I could kind of do videos for those, because whenever you do hate comment videos, well, whenever people who get comments do hate comment videos, it's always fun to kind of just read them and see how much overreacting people do and how they just throw the hate at you without even thinking. And it's just, it's kind of fun to retort back at them with sarcasm and just read them and be like, oh, this is, this is hate. I'm going to get back at this guy with just complete ignorance. Well, ignorance by being not ignorant, I guess, is what it would be. I don't know. But anyway, I'm leaving this video here. If you guys liked it, you can slap the like button as always, and I will see you guys.